What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. I will note at the suggestion of some YouTube comments, I both made the borders a little slower. Uh, apparently the movement was really distracting, so I made it a 10 second loop instead of a five second loop. And I also made them thinner. And it took me about six hours last night, and that's why the stream was late today. But typically you can find me on Twitch at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. And thank you for that resub. This should be at a different position. I don't know why it was where it was. That's weird. Oh, I guess it's just never been done on this particular screen. But anyway, we're here now. Minsk and Boo again. That actually kind of sounds good because yesterday we got a Minsk and Boo, but we did not get to cast our Minsk and Boo. I don't think a single time. So, yeah, again, these uh, these borders here are a little bit thinner. So, you know, hopefully that helps with the uh, the, the jarringness or how, how distracting they are. And uh, we're going to take Minsk and Boo. And yeah, in Tokyo, I'll send you a link. Hold on, I just want to update this um, this Magic Online area because I see a a tiny little line, dude. I'm so I'm so neurotic about stuff like that. Like there was like a tiny edge of the client at the very bottom. Cool, we took Savai Trium. Well, I guess we're Mardu deck. <laughs> I'm going to take Emrakul and pretend that nothing happened. Can someone... I, I, you guys you guys have been rough on doing it, but can someone actually check that and clip it and see if I had that card reserved? I'm pretty sure I had it reserved. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I didn't have it reserved. I feel like I did. I think it's Polluted Delta. It gets our Savai Triome. Yeah, that seems good. Hmm. I mean, we're looking cards that mainly interact with this, right? But I also don't mind him to Torok. Especially when both cards are able to cast that. Yeah, I'll take him to Torok. As usual. Peanuts are the most extensive part of the trail mix. I think Katie's in there feeding Freddy. Classic radio is always in the, it's always going to be in the countdown screen. So the only way you don't, you miss it is if you miss the countdown screen. Magma Opus, huh? I kind of want to take Magma Opus and also hope the Inspired Ultimatum comes back and then I can just play some broken cards. We also got Vindicate, which is pretty good with Savai Triome. I want to take the Magma Opus here. I almost took the Vindicate. <laughs> ah, fool me once, Magic Online. What happens if you flash an Emrakul into play? Oh, nothing? Okay, cool. Got it. Death is a sorcery, so that's not ideal. I think Shark Typhoon's probably the pick here. I feel like we're going to be Mardu-y. Well, not Mardu, grixis -y. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Won't get fooled again. Oh, let's just take Bowmasters. I was going to take Fairy Mastermind, but then I'm like, Bowmasters is just the better two drop. So, that's cool. So far, we have 2-drop, two 2-drop, two 6-drop, 8-drop, 15-drop. So, what can go wrong?
I got Graven Cairns. Yeah, I feel like that's more important than Grave Daddy here. Oh, Badlands is also more important. Unless there's a card that directly facilitates us doing some crazy combo shenanigans. Good mana is hard to find. Hmm, Goldspan Dragon. Oh yeah, we're taking Goldspan Dragon for sure. Oh, Inspired Ultimatum did come back. We can't cast the... Actually, we can cast the White's Half, can't we? We gotta survive Triumph. But mostly I just want a Mizzix Mastery and have a way to discard things. Showdown of the Skulls is pretty good. Hello? Yeah, Murderous Rider's good. All right. Putrid Imp is a discard outlet, so we're definitely going to take that guy. Because we want to discard creatures and spells here. Here, I'll give you a peanut because you're being a little rascal. Here, have another one. Hunter's eating my excess peanuts. Oh, cool, Mox Emerald. The exact color we're not. That's just fantastic. Is it still worth taking? I don't know. Oh, what up, Yep? Good seeing you, buddy. Go home time for me. Wow. Thanks for showing up for four seconds, Storm Ricks. Unbelievable. Just kidding. I appreciate you. I think we're still taking Mock. Oh, God, it's so, it's so much worse than Talisman here. Like, this is great, but it's just colorless, whereas Talisman is actually two of our four colors. I'm going to take the Talisman. It just feels better here. I will take a Mana Crypt, however. Um, this is a Sorcery, unfortunately. But Torrential Gearhulk works pretty well with Magma Opus. I gotta take the Mana Crypt and hope the Gearhulk comes back, though, right? Take Mox, Wheel Omnath. Hmm... It has to be Mana Crypt. Oh, Mox Ruby! We get rewarded! Wow! Pretty! Pretty! Pretty, pretty good. Well, different. I guess we're good. <laughs> That's pretty solid. Oh, you passed a Mox? Oh, now we get Cruel Ultimatum? Okay, well. We have so many big Thank fat you. spells, right? We have to we have to find something that lets us play these. Hey Tony, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. 30 months, man. Amazing. I'm actually shocked no one has has used this HelloFresh promo code and subscribed. My only theory is that everyone has already used it. But if you haven't, definitely check out HelloFresh. They're an amazing meal delivery service. Every food we've gotten from them has been delicious. And you get 50% off your first box along with free shipping. It's a great deal. I get a significant kickback. Solemn Simulacrum is interesting. What are the two cards that let you go infinite with this? I think it's Kinnon and Zerda. We could get a Zerda and go infinite with Basalt Monolith to cast an Emrakul. I like Tefri here. I like Solemn. Oh, we're drinking the, the Dr. Straubs and Cream. <laughs> don't, don't call it that. I kind of like Basalt Monolith here. Like, it doesn't cast these, but it casts a lot of other things. Yeah, we're going to go with Basalt. We're not green, channel. We're not green. But we do have another on-color Signet. 
Shell Dock Isle actually seems great for this deck, doesn't it? Any one of these with a Shell Dock is just, just bananas. Yeah, we're going to take Shelly. Oh, through the Breach. We only have one through the Breacher so far, but like, what if we get more, you know? Besides, what's the alternative in this pack? Uh, Sacred Foundry? Come on. We're breaching. What if... I'm listening. Okay, Colonnade. Blighty, Blighty Boy. Renin 6, but we're not green. Might just be Colonnade here. I also do like Urtai a lot. Let's sort by mana value. Oh, wow. Emrakul's off the screen now. <laughs> What if you get get more breaches? That's not even a sentence. I think it's. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with colonnade here. Misha's workshop. No, that's not gonna do it. Emery's not gonna do it. No, Mancer's a fine guy. A fun guy, if you will. Portal to Phyrexia. I was kind of hoping came back. I feel like if this is if, if there's any any if there's ever a portal to new portal to Phyrexia deck, it's it's this one. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you why, but I like Embrus Shieldbreaker just as a as a useful piece of artifact removal that I'll probably just play in the main deck. I'll take Paradoxical. We have Mana Crypt and Mox Ruby. I'll take a Mind Slaver too. Okay. Interesting. Some interesting choices here. I like the Katie just pops in to say hello and then she leaves. I did HelloFresh last time. We did like three or four boxes. The recipes are great and very repeatable. We added about five or six to our meal rotation and learned a bit about cooking. Def recommend to anyone who hasn't done it. Yeah, I've actually never heard anyone say this is just absolutely disrespectful. <laughs> I'm tempted to just play green because of that. Um, <clears throat> I've never heard anyone say anything bad about HelloFresh. The price goes up a bit after you're no longer in like the discount period, but you're welcome to cancel at any time. So it doesn't really actually hurt you in any way. Like you can actually cancel after your first box. You get the 50% off free shipping and then just be like, all right, I'm good. I'm Gooch. Do any of these cards do broken stuff? No. And I think it's just Rafine's tower here. Like, this is two colors for Cryptic and two colors for <coughs> Inspired, which is pretty good. There's also an Urza, but we don't really have an Urza deck. You think it's Blood Chief's Thirst? Over the, the Tri-Land that we can get with a Polluted Delta? You sound like a crazy person. I'm going to take Rafine's Tower. <clears throat> uh, Grim Monolith. That is interesting. Watery Grave. That is interesting. Where are the cards that are going to help me cast these ultimatums? I was promised cards that would help me cast ultimatums. Where's the Mizzix Mastery? I do like a Watery Grave. I don't think I can pass a Grim Monolith, though, when we have, like, Shark Typhoon, Portal to Phyrexia. Turn 2 Goldspan Dragon. Then I... <laughs> I appreciate you, Tiger Nate. I appreciate you. Fractured Identity. That is a banger. That is a grand slam. Thank you, ma'am. I got hair in my mouth. Where do they come from, you know? Where do they go? Oh, are we a Golos deck? Another Tryland. We could have like six Trylands in this deck. I feel like we're a Golos deck. We have the Golos cards. Okay, we're going to Golos. Plus we have Grim Monolith and Mana, Mana Crypt and Mox Ruby. Oh, man. I'm excited. Mm. You can play all three of them. What were they thinking? This card's, this card's bonkers. <coughs> I do need some lands that produce green. Wooded Foothills can produce a green. 
It also gets our Savai Triome and our Badlands. So if we get any green... Also, Talisman of Resilience is kind of cool for that, too. Um, that's pretty much it, though. I'm going to take the Wooded Foothills. And we have Shell Dock Isle. That's interesting. I don't think we're a Fallen Shinobi deck for the first time in history. For the first time in recorded history, I don't think we're a Fallen Shinobi deck. But we do have a Putrid Imp. Fascinating. I don't think we're in a Traxa Grand Unifier deck, but... God, maybe we are. Dream. Rob's dream. <laughs> Sadness. Oh, God. What is the pick here? I think I like Grief here, actually. Let's just take the Grief. That's just a solid gentleman, right? Excellent. Something because you're going to play them. You playing them does not mean you get them for free, unfortunately. Otherwise, this card would be nutter butters. I wonder if Wheel is good for us. Pinch a bunch of expensive stuff, bring it back. Spiral of Canal is also probably fine. <coughs> yeah, passing a Shinobi didn't feel good. I'm going to take Wheel because we don't know what's going to happen. Pentad Prism, huh? I don't think we're an Oath of Druids deck. We have Battle Sphere as a cute guy. We're not a Talarian Academy deck, unfortunately. Why just be Venser deck? Fatal Push and Mind Collapse are also not terrible either. <clears throat> I wonder if it's just Pentad Prism. It adds the green for Golos. I'm going to go with Venser here. I think Venser is probably a little better. All right. Looks like they already did that. Wow. Urza tabled? That was shockingly unexpected. I mean, I guess we're closer to Urza. We've got Talisman, Grim, Basalt, Golos. Yeah. All right. I'll take the Urza if you're going to force it force it on me. There's the Zagoth Triome we were hoping came back. That's actually fantastic. And an Overgrown Tomb. All right. Well, we got all the green we need for Golos. Trinket Mage. You get... Oh, you actually get Mox Ruby or Mana Crypt. We could also just play Kenrith as a guy. I'll take the Tr Trinket Mage. It's a little cheaper. I might even just play... <coughs> I might even just play a... Uh... Black Cleave Cliffs. This is a deck, man. This is a wild, interesting deck. Okay. I almost feel like <clears throat> we should find a way to get Channel in here because we have Emrakul, Golos, and Portal to Phyrexia. <clears throat> and any of those are really good with, with Channel. <laughs> it's like, we also have this guy for Through the Breach. What do we have for green? Right now we have this, this, this wooded is a goth there's actually five sources of green it's not terrible all the little wallies walk like this 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 we could also just take out like <clears throat> through the breach and emerald for mind slaver i don't actually think through the breach is great in this deck we only have Emrakul through the Breach. 
I could see taking through the breach out and then just having Emrakul for like a Golos or Sheldok. We can also discard it with Putrid Imp. Everything else seems okay. Also, Urza is another way to hit those big fat spells too, so. Embereth Shieldbreaker seems fine in the main deck. <clears throat> Do we need any way to discard things for Putrid Imp? I don't think so. And we didn't get Mizzix Mastery or any sort of reanimate, so nothing in here really depends on discarding. So I think this guy's actually poops magoops. I might just play Mindslaver instead, actually. I mean, it feels like we can make a lot of mana. We have Grim Monolith, Basalt Monolith, Talisman, Mox Ruby, Mana Crypt. And then we have Urza. And then Goldspan Dragon's making things. I don't know. This deck seems pretty wild. Future Dump was in case we hit, like, Mizzix Mastery and we needed to just discard, like, a Cruel Ultimatum to cast it. But we did not. So here we are. Plus, we also have, like, Murderous Rider and Fencer and Grief and just some decent removal, too. Fractured Identity. <laughs> All right. Well, this looks like one of the more fun decks we've drafted. I worry about its consistency, but we got like, a lot of good lands. Looks like we're going to need a bunch of islands. Okay. So... Let me make sure. Let me go one second to close this. Open this. Move it over. Open it again. Put it back up. Okay, let me do some some mana math. Mana math. White, blue, black, red, and there's no green. But we can we'll 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 mention how many greens we got at least, I guess. Okay, so for white sources we need one, two, three, four, four. Assuming we're going to cast those cards. Blue, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Black, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 0. Okay. <clears throat> so when we add Badlands, Colonnade, Cairns, Tower, Triome, Triome, Delta, Wooded Foothills. Those are the only ones I really definitely want in here. Maybe Overgrown Tomb because it just feels free. <clears throat> and Sheldock. Okay. This gives us... Wow, this is going to be... There's a lot, of, a lot of lands here. Oh, they're gonna, they're also including all our artifacts here, too. So let's not do that. <clears throat> you can go. You can go. And you can go. There's blue sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six blue sources. It's not a lot. White sources. We have one, two, three, four, five. Six. See, that's better for white. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Green, we have Sagoth Triumph, one, two, Three. Which is actually totally fine because we can just get the Triome with Golos. So in order to have Golos, we also have to have the Triome. So I think that's actually totally fine. Um, I would... I, I see I'm tempted to play Blackleaf Cliffs. We already have cards one, two, three, four. We have five lands that are going to always come into play tapped. That's a lot. I don't know if we want more. This might, just might be a basic situation where we add three, one, one... 
I think this is a three island. See, the, the awkward thing about the islands, eh, I guess that's not, not necessarily. We have two ultimatums. Three islands put us up to nine blue sources. We get six basics here. Yep, they, they said three islands as well. I said I said this, 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 and I was I was torn on the other one. But this looks like exactly what I would have suggested, to be honest. Especially because we have a double white here. I mean, that seems pretty good. I might want another black, actually. Black is the second highest represented color. I don't think we need a plains. We have six white sources. Yeah, let's get another swamp in here. Cool, it's made him needs three, so. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be interesting. We also do want blue on turn two for like Orcish Masters or him to Torok. There's also double black, so. We have no double white cards, so. All right, well. Let me cancel this real quick and clip my deck and mana base. <clears throat> we're not missing anything, right? I just want to make sure we're not like forgetting to play anything really sweet. I actually kind of like Seething Song here. Like turn five Seething Song into like Portal is pretty decent. It's very tempting. All right, we'll try it like this. I want to see what I'm able to, to search for with my with my fetch lands. All right, let's get in there. All right. Double red card, red card with uh, four of our six basic lands. Probably going to mulligan. That's a little better. I mean, look at the deck only has three islands, two mountains, two, two swamps, and one mountain. So it's really not like... Uh, one, two, three. We'll put a land back for now because we already have three mana sources. Another black source, and we can play Grief. Ho oh, ho ho! Oh! Wow, what's going on? This is a that was a that was a fiasco. Good lord. They still... They didn't play a land, which is kind of hilarious, which makes their Arbor Elf not great. <clears throat> Guess they just get in there? Alright, well. Goldie. Senator Goldie Wilson. I would love a second black or a second red. That would be really just the bee's knees here. However, any land lets us cast Fractured Identity, so that's good. Oh, look at that. They're, they're comboing off. All right, I'm probably going to cycle this to try to hit mana. So if I try on one time. Trigger Mage does get us a mana crypt. Unfortunate. Three very good five drops in hand. And a four drop, I guess, but we don't have a second black, so might as well be a five drop. So if we go one, two, three, Trigger Mage, get Mana Vault, <clears throat> Mana Crypt, we get three, three mana left over. If we hit a black source, we can actually Trinket Mage, play the black source, play Mana Crypt, and then play Grief. So that would be pretty good. Trinket Mage into Grief if we hit a black source is actually really great. Give me a Badlands. Wow, Badlands would be so good. Shockingly good. 
I would be shocked at how good it is. I would be shocked. Absolutely shocked. Okay, you're going to get back your mana crypt? My god. Maniacs. Dear god. Okay, we did it. That's pretty good. Play my little trinky. I too have that thing that you have. <clears throat> uh, pest infestation and fiery confluence. Wow, both of those are very good. I guess fiery confluence is better for us. I guess we take pest infestation. So they could fiery and kill both our artifacts and deal one, which only kills one of our guys, but it also kills theirs. So I guess we're taking pest infestation. Because otherwise they just make like six creatures. That's not great. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. I mean... After that, though, they're pretty much, they're pretty low. What is this? Do you think you can fire, do you think it's an instant? <laughs> Did they try to fire Confluence? Oh, they're in their main phase. That makes sense. That's smart. Yeah, this is an easy trade as well. I'm drinking a strawberries and cream zero sugar Dr. Pepper. I don't actually think this comes in non-zero sugar. So they're going to kill this, this, and deal me two, I imagine? Or they're just going to kill one. That seems good. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, just we can hit the last two cards in their hand? That's pretty cool. If we had a second red, we'd be in really great shape. But Fracture Identity is also pretty hot. What do we get? Basalt and Mana Vault? Mana, Mana Crypt? I keep calling it Mana Vault. I'm sorry. I apologize, friends. <clears throat> it does. Dr. Pepper's Dr. Pepper's Strawberries and Cream comes in non-zero sugar. That's fascinating. I did not know that. You learn something new every single day, even today, which is a day. <clears throat> you know what's funny? Even if we fractured Identity Garrick, we still can't cast Gold Spam because this is not a land we can untap. That's funny. Red. That's not a red source. I mean, we're just gonna... One, two, three, four. Do we just kill Garrick with this? Or do we fractured Identity it? I don't know if it's good enough to fractured Identity. I mean, never waste a removal spell when you can kill something with an onboard trick. Typically. Is there a red? Is there a red in our future? A Golos! Shorty go low, low, los. So we're just getting our... Oh my god, are we going to live the dream? Yes, please use the ability and get the Zagoth Trium. Oh, two, three, four, five, six. We can do it. We can do it. Just whiff on a draw that doesn't kill Golos in your green red deck. Please, 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 please. Uh, oh, it's happening. Don't hit Emrakul. Just don't draw it. All right, that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is what this is what we. Oh, cruel ultimatum! <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Super Fritz, this one's for you, buddy. Uh, let's get back probably grief. Let's play a Savai Trium. Let's play this. Uh 
Oh man. Um. Yeah. All right. I guess that's good. So next time we can just cast Magma Opus or Golos again or. Oh boy, they're at eight. Oh boy. Oh yeah, do that. Well, you got four mana here. Oh, that's pretty good. We're at 17, though, so I'm not too scared of it. Yeah, that's fine. We you killed the Salt Monolith. Really? I would have killed the green source if I was my opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. If we play this and attack for five, we have three mana. And then the, the treasure makes two, so that puts us at five again, right? So we can actually play Dragon, attack, and then fracture the Woodfall Primus. Yeah, with, with Dragon, we only have five mana. You are... I know your name is SF Dragon, but I think you're sorely overestimating how much mana this dragon is going to give us. They have no cards in hand. What's the hold up here? Hello? Oh, with Monolith, you were, you were counting the Monolith mana. Gotcha. Hello? I would I would ask if my internet could die, but you guys are still chatting with me, so clearly not. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What if I leave this and click on a different thing? Like, can I go here? Yep, can I go here? Let's go to my collection. I I guess we're just waiting. Nevertheless, we can gold span and then fracture it and kill this. And then, actually, gold span. Huh. We can't win, though. Right? If we fracture to this guy. I mean, our hand is sick. This deck is sick. Even if we, even if we go 0-3 with this deck, I'll still be... Satisfied that I got the Golos and cast Inspired or Cruel Ultimatum. And, you know, it's just. We can put them to one with Magma Opus, too, which is kind of funny. We can tap down their, their Primus, attack for three, and then deal them four. Are they there? Are they there, God? today junior has my internet died now should I should I should I restart just in case take this time to link me to the eat my hair situation okay hold on let me find it okay I got this this clip for you but it's about Five minutes. Do you think my opponent is still there? Or there have they lost the will to live? Alright, I'm gonna... Restart just to be safe. Okay, to the surprise of no one, it was not a restart issue. We are still waiting. <clears throat> so I'll just pause it for the YouTubers until we get back. Oh, now it says they joined the game. They lost the connection and we lost, and we they lost the connection, then we lost the connection at 434. We joined and then they joined at 434. And now it's our turn. Okay. Spired ultimatum off the top. Hello? 
Are you there, Gish God? Gish game? It's me, Ma- it's me, Margaret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are one mana away from getting this, getting our slaver on. So we go one, two, three, four, five. Goldspan gets in there for four. And then we have six mana left over. Are we sure we can't win here? Pretty sure. What if we spin the wheel? One, two, three, four. If we had one more mana, we can actually play gold span to attack with it and then also spin the wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we whiff though, it puts us in a stupid position. They have no cards in hand. Maybe it doesn't put us in that bad of a position. I feel like I just want to wheel. Like, that's what we're here for, right? What do we do? Do we wheel or do we do the safe plan that actually does something good? I'm going to leave it to you guys. I don't know what to do. Safe plan. Interesting. Wheel. Live the dream. Okay. Take the win. Okay, but that's Packrat again. So, he, you know, you can't vote twice. It's two safes. Spin it up. All right, we're going to spin it up. It's what I want to do in my soul, but I want someone to tell me that it's okay. Someone validate my my bad habits. Oh, we just hit a Nerza. Isn't that sad? Say, <laughs> look, we got nowhere. That was sad. Um, We still have four mana, though. Three blue mana. Why did, why did I leave an island up? What an idiot. Oh, we just win the game. That's weird. Why did they concede there? I guess I guess it was the seven cards in our hand. Oh well. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We won anyway, you know? God, so tempting. Three good hits is really what I want with channel. And I think we have four. We have Golos, Mindslaver, Portal, and Emrakul. How many, how many green sources would we have if we added the channel? And we added like Overgrown and Copper Line. So one, two, three, four, five. Five is just not enough, right? I think we just have to submit it like this. I think it, I think it's fine like this. Man, Pest Infestation and Fiery Confluence in hand. It's kind of rough when we have two artifact mana sources. Oh, boy. Oh, shoot. I just got a Peacock notification. Fast X coming September 15th. Is it called Fast X or Fast 10? Do you guys know? We got any? We're, we're my Fast and Furious fans. Don't miss one of the year's biggest movies. Fast X or Fast 10 is streaming September 15th exclusively on Peacock. Watch the trailer. No, I don't want to. Oh, we're going to mulligan again. Fast 10 is what it's called. Okay. I will keep this hand. This is a fucking explosive boy. I'm going to ship this grief because we don't have any black mana. Is this a turn? Wow, this is a turn one Sheldock into Basalt. Ma oh, this is a lot of things we're going to do. Wow. Of course, Fiery Confluence or Pest Infestation is going to be rough. Fast Twitter. That's funny. I like that. That's funny. So, if we want to play this... I, I think we're just going to play this guy. <laughs> Three fucking Triomes! And one showdown. Oh god. I guess I'm I'm glad I'm glad I'm not drawing those. I don't know. Actually, we can just play Shark Typhoon next turn, can't we? That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. It's not bad. Turn two Shark Typhoon. 
Ooh, do I just fracture identity of Derbasalt monolith? Tails never fails, right? Isn't that still true? I guess they changed it. All right. Well, um, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, we can play this first, but do I want to make a shark out of it? Yeah, probably. How much mana is this? One, two, three, four, five. Five? And we can fractured identity their monolith. Watch them go pest infestation here. That's gonna be real sad. That's not it. Boomer? Why did you call me a boomer? I, I know I, I probably said something boomery, but I would love to know what it was. Garuki. Are they just going to go pest infestation for one to get rid of our shark typhoon? You better clarify why I'm a boomer. They have one card in hand? Oh, baby. Can we fracture it into their Garrick, make a 5-5 five, five shark and a 2-2 two, two, two shark? That seems hard to beat for the green deck with one card in hand. Tails never fails. Oh, let's see, I won. God, I'm so good at this. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're one mana shy of doing the thing we want to do. Oh, what up, Nick Squirt? Is Katie going to tell me why I'm a boomer? Oh, no, we're not. We just get the Garrick and then we untap with the... Yeah, see, smart. Halo Cub got it. Mega... Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> Oh man, this deck is banging, dude. Because of Tails Never Fails, everything has changed since back in your Oh wow, that's so sad. But Tails Never Failed the second time, so does that count? I don't know. I just got a craving for some some cracker barrel, and I'm not sure if it's because Katie called me a boomer or not. I mean, I don't know if they were triggered so much as just defeated. Like, we have a 5-5 five, five and their Garrick. It's like, it, it's at a point where, like, even if they kill um, a lot of my artifacts and enchantments with their pest infestation, like, they still have to deal with a 5-5 five, five flyer and it's a green deck. And they have no cards in hand and it's like, you know. What's good at Cracker Barrel in my 34 years I've never been? Yeah, it's like comfort food. It's like southern comfort food, like chicken fried steak or lots of breakfasts breakfast entrees I'll keep this I will say I don't love it but I like it oh dear oh dear sneak 88 is going to be playing a thou yep that's, yep that's what I was afraid of that's no good I guess we'll play this and Goldie. Hello? We got here. Oh, wow. Can I show this to Neon Tokyo? Yeah. Is he still there? Yeah. Hello? Oh, Lord. I guess we're playing this. Look at this cute little fella. <laughs> oh, that's, that's very cute. He looks like he's got a big mustache. <laughs> the face is just a little fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Okay. I mean, keep in mind, she's only been doing this for like two weeks. That looks really good. Look at that little nose. What's wrong with his face? It looks great. Well, this head of stashes. A little, a little oh, uneven. Wonky. I mean, that's just mustaches. But, but pugs are not very. 
Thank you. Neon Tokyo with the gifted subs, you maniac. Really appreciate you. <laughs> Pugs are not very symmetric. Yeah, that's why their breathing sucks. Thank you. That was my pug impression. Oh, that was good. Thank you. You're like, I thought there was a real pug here. Thank you. So we can him to Torok them, and then they can, in response, play B Skull. Michael B Skull. Thank you. Oh, look at that. They're going to do it. Actually, I have my cauldron completed hand as well, you see. <laughs> okay, it's just Batter Skull. Sure. Thank you. They discarded Lotus and Figure of Destiny. Kind of hilarious. So they don't have land, but they didn't play the Lotus either. That's fascinating. I guess they do have land. I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm all kinds of confused. I wish I had a damnation in this deck. I wish they didn't have Thalia. This is the kind of deck I feel like our deck loses too, because not only do we have five lands that come into play tapped, but Thalia and swarms of creatures are just not uh we're not well positioned against that, so. Yeah, especially with just when we're drawing a bunch of triomes. We can kill this and take two, and then we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we go to one. And that's probably gonna be the end. Do we have anything cheap we can bring in that actually helps? Literally nothing. <laughs> Okie dokie. Just fin cross our fingers, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the problem with Imp is unless we draw it in our opening hand, it's kind of poop. I don't know how bad this hand is. It's turn one talisman. Let's say we're mulliganing, right? Like we're just going to take... This is not in our hand. Is this a keepable six? I think 100% it is. So we might as well keep it with seven because it's a free Emrakul in case we... I guess there's no way to really put that dude into play. Being on the play to be able to play both of these without a a wearing about a Thalia is pretty nice. Next turn we can play Monolith too, so that's decent. We have no black sources for Rider though, so that's pretty bad. Are they gonna Thalia on turn one again? Stoneforge, got it. Got it. I mean, we could realistically portal to Phyrexia here at a, at a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more, two more mana and we can portal to Phyrexia. That's kind of cool. Land? Mind Slaver. Okie dokie. Well, <laughs> guess we're just passing. Well, at least we didn't O3, right? That's the important thing. So we're going to take four. We play land. We might take five, play a land. Probably take eight, play a land. So that's 13. We'd be at seven, theoretically, if they play a three power creature here. There's a three power creature. Okay. Well. Oh, I don't I definitely don't want to use the basalt monolith for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. In my mind, every match is the first match. Do you mean because our first match was so good, or do you mean in your mind every match you play is the first match? I can't tell if this is an irk thing. Cool. Cool. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. We go to one if we 
do this and then use this to kill this guy. <laughs> Uh, because we could not hit a fourth land by turn five. Brutal. We could also just play him as a man. One, two, three. All right, we'll play him as a man. Maybe they don't have removal for him. They only have four cards in hand. That's so many cards. To be fair, I don't feel like this is a good matchup for us. Okay, well. Okay, we got an extra turn now. Come on, give that, give daddy that sweet, that sweet land. That's not, that's not daddy's sweet land. Three, four, well. Daddy is surviving, though. Okay, we're at six, so we have to play a blocker. <sighs> if this was any other card, I feel like it would be better, but maybe not any other card. Sweet daddy land. ba ba -da. Oh, you're going to put a Jitte into the back. That's fine. That doesn't deal us extra damage this turn. It doesn't prevent us from blocking. Okay. That. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Exactly lethal. Fantastic. Solid draw. Yep. Still no land. All right. Well, we tried. Sometimes magic's determined by resources. But da 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 sweet. <laughs> oh boy. So every time I'm using Photoshop, when I go to save something, it will literally be like, do you want to save it on the creative cloud so that you can access your files everywhere? And I'm like, no, not really. I just want to save it on my computer so I can get it when I need it. And I'll go to save again. And I'll be like, do you want to save it on the creative cloud? And then you can get it wherever you need it. And I'm like, no, and I'm going to Google a way to not have you ask me this. And then I figured it out and shut it off. But today I got a, an email and they're like, Starting February 1st, Creative Cloud synced files are being discontinued. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. So if I actually saved all my shit on the cloud, like you literally been trying to get me to do for the past three years, I would have just had to take it all off and save it locally. Smart. Thanks, Adobe. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Turns out we don't want you to store your shit on our cloud anymore. Okay, buddy? I always wonder the reason of decisions like that. Like, are people using way more storage than they expected? Are people not using it enough? Are people putting controversial Photoshop files on there? Like, what's the reason? Um, I don't hate this hand. It's also a pretty early gloss. You ever call them gloss? You just skip that first O. Hey, you, get off of my cloud. <laughs> Oh, Super Prince, you're a goddamn treasure, my friend. Ah. 
this guy. Don't spell pierce me, bro. He didn't. I'm going to F2 here in case they want to steal this with something. I don't know what they could steal it with. Maybe they will, though. I bet they're not going to. They got double double blue here? That's just... Oh, they don't have it anymore. Well, now they do. Boy, this is the roller coaster. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. He should be drawing... If you're going to draw, you should be drawing during your upkeep. That way, in case you don't hit a land or you want to play a different land, you're not forced to play the, a land in your hand, and then you can see what you draw. It's just giving you more options before you have to make a decision, so... They still have double blue up. They do exist. Let's play this guy. Let's one, two, three. Yep. Had a feeling you'd counter this. Seven cards in your hand, huh? Seems good. I try to figure out which counter spell you want to use. What was the worst counter spell? What? It resolved. Well, okie dokie. Is he just dead? Maybe. No, but they're going to toots for us for something. I don't have with, they have like seven cards in hand. Now they have eight with the library. I don't have faith that Golos is going to survive. Oh, phenomenal. I have not seen Dak this go around in the cube, but sure is good against the Golos. That might be why they didn't counter it, you know? You know what I'm saying? You think they're going to counter this? Probably. Yeah, beautiful red border surrounding it. I'm sure that means they're choosing their modes for some kind of nonsense. They pitch in a card with Force of Will. No? I don't know what's going on. Nothing but surprises here. I just want to keep repeating that I'm proud of this deck, even if it didn't didn't win for us. They're never going to be, be able to activate this. They just took a 3-5 creature. But if we have a way to bounce it somehow, that would be cool. Do we? I don't know. What's our mana looking like for like a an ultimatum? Hard to say. Discard Talisman and Island. You got it, champ. You got it, sport. Have y'all tried Mike's Hot Honey on your pizza? We actually got the concept from HelloFresh and we're hooked. I'm not a big hot honey on my pizza fan. I can appreciate it as a thing. But when I'm when I'm getting pizza, I'm kind of a purist and I don't like that sweet addition to it. I don't think it's bad. It's just not really what I'm looking for when I try pizza. Oh, we should go to Slice tonight. Slice is delicious and fairly cheap. Oh, an Urza. Well, is that good? All of us? Yeah, let's all go. Everybody's invited. Come on over. One. Oh, they can just steal something else? Boy, do I just want to... Do I just want to attack their... Kind of, right? This doesn't feel good, but... I'm just gonna bounce my. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Cool pester mite. <sighs> yeah, because if we play Mind Slaver, they just take it and then activate it. If we play Urza, they just take our three three, and then they have a three three. So, not really great uh, 
great options here. Dax stealing our Golos is probably the worst thing that they could have done, I think. Because we could be activating it right now. We could be in a world where we activate it. But no, we're in this world instead. <sighs> my red is from a mana confluence and a talisman. That's how I got double red for my for my vester might. Okay, okay. I mean, do I just want Seething Song in this deck? Is this just a Seething Song deck? It might be better than Showdown. Let's try it over Showdown. Five mana is no joke and with the things we want to do here. Um, yeah, this is a keeper. Turn three Urza. We'll play this first because we can get something else if we need to with this. Yeah, we could have been spinning, but they stole my Golos. They stole the goal. Os. You son of a biscuit. What are you doing here? I think we just get Savai Triome here. It leaves us with two blue, multiple red, two black. Actually, we already have two black. What is this going to be? Come on, buddy. Quit playing around. Bit of reunion. Sure, that's fine. Uh, well, if it's the two Triomes, I think I like blue-black better than... No, I do want red, though, for the Inspired Ultimate. Man, we're going to take the Savai because we have Inspired in our hand. And it's white. It's white. It's two of the three colors. Oh, wow. Um... It's one, two, three, four, five... Six mana. I'm going to play this just to make our, our guy bigger. Plus it does let us play around days. Whereas like otherwise we would not be able to. So one, two, three... This also lets our... <laughs> oh, cool. Some people just wake up and decide they're going to be assholes. What can you do? I was going to say it also lets our mana crypts tap for blue, which is convenient for the Inspired Ultimatum, but... You got it. Tails never fails. It didn't fail. I was literally saying if we drew a grief, that'd be pretty sweet. So that's kind of cool. I was saying it in my brain, not in the real world, but still pretty cool. All right. Show me what you've got. Splinter Twin and Sneak Attack. Well, your hand is terrible. Splinter Twin is a two-card combo. There's no chance you said that in your brain. Prove it. Damn it. He's got me. One, two, three, four, five. So we have red, 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 blue, blue, or white, blue. I think it's Splinter Twin. Sneak Attack has more options. I mean, Splinter Twin wins on the spot. Sneak Attack does not is the problem. So if they find the other component for either of these cards... One of them kills us immediately. The other does not. Plus they, like, yeah, I don't know. I think it's twin. 
I mean, their hand's pretty bad. Like, they're also going to have to take a turn off next turn to play Sneak Attack. And then they can't activate it. So, assume it's another mountain. Yep. I mean, I guess you can play Sneak Attack. Yep, okay. So we know you have two islands. Does Tails ever fail? Yeah, it just failed. That's too bad. Lots of colorless mana that's being provided here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have ten mana. Shockingly close to Emrakul. Man, Fractured Identity would be bananas. Alright, let's see if your last two draws were a sneak attack creature. That does not look like it. Frantic Searchy. That's good. That's a good hit when you have two, two lands you want to pitch. Okay, so we know you still have one island in hand. And two other cards. There it is. There we go. <laughs> God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well. Can we survive? Without three. I think so, right? One, two... Three, four, I guess. Sure. So we still have six mana. <sighs> cool. Fracture identity one time. I'll take a try on what the hell. <laughs> So we know they have Island in hand because they didn't get rid of Island. They played this and the Emrakul. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Or Ulmog, rather. Fractured Identity access to, actually lets us go blue, white, three, and then activate for Emrakul. And they have exactly six permanents as well, which is kind of comical. And it would put them to 15, and if they crack this Delta, it would actually kill them. So we're hoping for that Fractured. That's actually... Pretty good against them right now. Still got the island as far as we can tell. There goes the island. I mean, we're at five. I think we're just going to play this guy and block. You drew an Entomb. Okay. I'm actually not sure how that's relevant here, but... This has delirium, right? That's when it. So you're gonna have creature sorcery and or creature instant and land. So you're not gonna be delirious. Oh, you can crack your enchantment too. That's really, wow. That's really good. So I guess we're just gonna bounce this guy. So now they have creature instant. They put the card on top. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I'm just going to bounce this. They can sacrifice Bitter Reunion to make it uh, a 3-3, three, three, which is a two-turn clock for us. So, Oh, they just didn't want to play it again. Okay, well, that's not terrible, I guess. It puts us to 3, but maybe we're safe. I don't know if we're safe, actually. I don't think we should have attacked there. I think we're just dead. 
Yeah, I think we're not doing great. That's unfortunate. We probably should have played this guy. Like, we just made two mistakes in a row, I think. I forgot this. This, this guy's going to deal us two and bring us to three. And I assume... I'm just assuming they have a creature, actually, um, to bring in with sneak attack. Oh, interesting. I'm tempted to do this now, because I feel like there's no point in... No, I don't want to go to three. That's weird they didn't... I'm at three. I'm... That's weird they didn't play this and crack the Bitter Reunion. <sighs> oh my god, I was really hoping it was going to be a Fractured Identity. <laughs> oh... So we have, we do have three black. We may have to tap this in order to, actually we have four black. Good, good grief. Should have just cast this guy last turn, but I want to keep up Bowmasters in case they crack the Bitter Reunion, then we can actually, oh, they actually don't have a creature in here anymore. That's why it didn't work. That makes sense. All right, so we're not dead actually. Oh, wow, that, that actually feels very good. My kingdom for a fractured identity. <sighs> well, we're definitely attacking with this gentleman. To get back up to five. Boy, this is a this is a wild game. And that it's funny because this one swamp that we drew actually turns our inspired ultimatum off <laughs> for a turn. It just doesn't doesn't help it. Here we go. They do the Ulamog a second time. Hmm, Gristlebrand. <laughs> phenomenal. Would love to see what our draw was. Can you show me that? Shrink a mage. Fracture identity anywhere in our deck? There it is. All right, cool. One, two. Significantly worse than I was hoping for. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? I like the deck. I wish we got to play more of our cards. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.